All right, everybody. We have just turned in white cow there that's being run all over the place. That red cow and then a white-tailed cow into our other cows. And, guys, you're going to see them following these cows, chasing them, trying to figure them out. And uh, Cadillac is, is definitely smelling that white cow. I'm pretty sure all of these are bred. I have not had them preg-checked. But these are just older cows and um, kind of wanted to let you look and see what their first reactions of a new cow is. Um, of course, we went through this with the uh, little red um, heifer that's right there in the middle of the screen. But kind of let you look and see what this looks like as these new cows are coming into the field here. And they did good coming over here. They were much easier. I did have to... Um, drive them over here, I guess, kind of push them um, this direction, um, which they didn't balk or run or anything too badly. Um, so I was kind of relieved about that. But there you go, guys. Let's see here. Let's count these cows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Oh, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. That's the numbers we're supposed to have right now. Um, so I'm glad to have these cows. We're going to be, we got our mineral feeder up there. I hope that they'll find pretty soon, get some good mineral, and then also just be able to, uh, to gain a little bit of weight. I think they look a little bit thin, but I'm sure they look just fine um, for most everybody else. They are older cows. These are the first cows that I've had that are older, um, and this herd, the only um, old cow that I have is basically Cadillac, and I'm not sure, he's he's nearing five years old now, um, but these girls right here are closer to five to six years old. Um, I noticed that they are not tagged. Of course, I just bought them off of the farmer who um, who has the property here, or he had, had the property here, um, so... Oh, the white cow does have a tag in that one ear. I didn't see a tag in the red, in the red cow there, though. So we'll have to put one in there. But I uh, just kind of wanted to let you see what the cows look like. See the grass that they have right now. And all the way up to that tree right there, they've been... They just got turned into this field, but all the way up to, uh, from that line in the valley there to up to the tree... That was what they were eating on yesterday. I'm giving them larger paddocks right now so that they don't eat the ground down as much because, hey, it's it's September, folks, and we've got a month and a half left of good growing season, hopefully, before our first frost. So we, uh, we're going to try to, to make this stretch out as long as possible. You can see one of our pastures here. We, we have a lot of grass. But we have bad news, though, unfortunately. Our hay field on the other side of the farm did not take off well enough for us to actually um, be able to get a second cutting off of it. So we, only, we have 55 bales of hay, and we have 19 cows. And you're supposed to have five bales of hay for every cow, three, uh, four to five bales for every cow. So let's round up to... Say we have 20 cows, which we only have 19, but we're going to have calves pretty soon. So we are, we're running a little bit short on that. So what we're going to try to do is continue to graze this as long as possible. And that's the goal, folks. The goal is to, to go without having to have as much hay. And that puts more money in the farmer's pocket and produces what I think a better cow. But we'll find out. We'll just see how it goes. And uh, we'll see how these three cows continue in the herd. And thank you so much. Remember to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it if you can. And we'll see you next time.